Welcome to the Bark, the Bulldog Bark. My name is Destiny Longoria. We are starting out this week's episode with our new weatherman, James Monroe. Hello Bulldogs, my name is James Monroe. Welcome to your weekend weather report. The weekend will be mild temperatures with highs in the mid to high 50s and lows in the low to mid 30s. Friday will be sunny and, wind and, and windy with winds from 20 to 30 miles per hour. Saturday, winds will slow down to five to 10 miles per hour and remain sunny. Sunday will bring a mix of clouds and sunshine. Have a great weekend, Bulldogs. Jonathan gives a shout out to our two top seniors, Micah Wolf and Jude Stacy. RCHS wants to give a huge shout out to our valedictorian and salutatorian of the 2021 senior class. Jude Stacy and Micah Wolf's SAT, ACT, and AP test results have caught the eye of College Board. Their test scores have earned them recognition from the College Board National Recognition Program. Great job, guys. Need to up your Google Meet game? Here's Tyler with some tips. Here are some features they may not know about Google Meet. First off is Control D, which is unmuting yourself, and then you can do Control E to show your camera or activate it. Say you're having trouble understanding the teacher, there is a closed caption you can turn on. Or if your room is messy and you want to show your camera, there is a change background that you can use. That concludes the important things that you need to know about Google Meet. As you probably know, the world lost MF Doom in 2020. Here's Cassidy with a tribute. Influential doesn't even begin to describe MF Doom's impact on music and the music industry since he stepped on the scene in 1988 and left us suddenly in 2020. MF Doom, born as Daniel Dumilly, was a New York rapper known for his intricate wordplay and complex rhyme schemes in the underground rap scene of the early 2000s. Many artists even started or developed their career by being inspired by Doom, like pop rap artist Tyler Crater and the group Brockhampton. Looking into his rhyme schemes and ability to go on as one would say non-stop, it's clear to see why so many draw inspiration from Mr. Jamili. His passing left many surprised and many others heartbroken. Daniel Dumili may have left us, but he left behind a great legacy, as he paved the way for so many. Rayleigh is next with a spotlight on our students in our architecture program. Here at Roy City High School, we have lots of hands-on classes. Let's check one out. In this class, this is Principles of Architecture. We Right now we're building something that's special to us and it's, it's really fun and it really helps us with, with things that we want to do in the future. I then got the chance to sit down with Lord and ask her about her project. Let's check it out. Um, this class is really just um, an opportunity for me to get a little glimpse of what I want to do in the future. And so as someone who wants to go into architecture, this class helps me to kind of um, walk through the, the principles of that and just learn how it kind of works and uh, see how we'll be eventually um, working in my career. If you are interested in architecture, please make sure to sign up next year for your school classes. This is Rayleigh Odom signing out. Another of our amazing programs is the Golden Debs. Here's Cindy with a trial detail. Do you love to dance? Have you ever wanted to be a part of something? Well, why not try out for the Golden Debs? They do a variety of things from performing at halftime during football season and competing at multiple competitions to having team gatherings where the whole team gathers and hangs out. So if you ever want to be a part of something, you should consider joining the Golden Debs. The Golden Debs are having a parent meeting for people who want to join. The parent meeting is on February 22nd and February 23rd from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. and it will be held in the cafeteria. Tryout week is March 15th through the 18th. If you have any more questions, contact Director Sarah Overton. Heard of the new Oculus headset? You're here in Philip have a review. Hey RCHS gamers, 
Have you guys ever seen the movie Ready Player One? A movie where society is stuck inside and lives life through virtual reality? No? Well, the movie's pretty good, but if you did watch it, we have some great news. We are one step closer to having our lives lived through virtual reality. Enter the Oculus Quest 2. The Oculus Quest 2 is the newest headset made by Oculus, currently owned by Facebook, and it's the second standalone headset. This means no cables needed. You can play the thing right out the box. The headset has not only hand tracking, but can also has the ability to tell where exactly it is inside your room. This means you can move around in real life, and the action will be mimicked in the game. If you are interested in the headset, it's difficult to find, but it's been spotted in, well, nowhere. Uh, it's currently out of stock everywhere, so do your best to place out order as soon as it's in stock. Some other important notes is that you need to have a Facebook account in order to play, and also if you want to get more of your headset, you can plug it into a VR-ready computer to play some more high-end VR games. I recommend getting first steps, and then getting the game Rec Room to get started. That's all the time we have today, so see you guys next time. Here's Edwin with a thank you to Bullpen Uniforms. RCTV wants to give a shout out to the Bullpen for providing our RCTV t-shirts this year. Be sure to shop by the bullpen for all your RCTV spirit gear and tell them RCTV sent you. That's all for now, Bulldogs. See you next week. This has been Destiny Longoria signing out.